This is the Monoprice Delta. Um, I think that was wrong. <laughs> um, uh, we connected an octopi to it. I'm pretty sure this is the second one. It's octopi two. I think it might be the second one, yeah, but they're configured the same. No, it's an octopi. Is that a Raspberry Pi based? It's a Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is a, it's a two because it has to have the dongle for the Wi-Fi. Yeah. The three yeah. doesn't need a dongle. Um, uh, and we have this camera for it, so you can see. It's a, it's a very nice camera. I tried it out. Um, uh, and as well, this controls everything that this printer does. Like, you could put, uh, use this printer by itself, but you could also use this, which I find much easier but a little less easier because you have to have your own laptop to do it. I tried doing it on my phone. You can't really do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, there are some fails. There are some ways. Is this one, is this one you printed out? I was going to say yeah. this was one of the models that I was playing with. Yeah. Oh, this is frustrating too. Right when it was up at the head. It did, it did all the hard long printing mm -hmm. part, but... And you poor, get down to the end and it said, nope, oh, poor, then. poor headless. That's, that's the one that its head fell off because it was too weak. <laughs> oh, oh, oh it, it's right at it a part. It, as much as <laughs> it didn't adhere. Yeah. Yeah. Problem with the and model. Blame the model. <laughs> In this case, it's exactly right because they did cut it a little too deep, didn't they? Oh, that came out real well. Um... Uh, these were based off of the starter files that you gave me. Mm -hmm. um, because <laughs> I was trying to get things on Thingiverse and it didn't work out so well for me. But anyway, this requires a lot of wires, which also bothers me. <laughs> we do not speak. Um, in the 3D printer, we have these. Um, uh, because when you're scraping things out, uh, stuff can get into the the stuff, the wires inside. Yeah, the motor because the stepper motors yes. are in the bottom there. And I'm pretty sure we all don't want that. So yeah, uh, they made these to help protect it, and also another good use that he gave me is these, it helps Ooh. the filament go through quicker. It just rolls out way easier when you use it. Right, so instead of instead of the things sitting on the metal, it's sitting on the two bearings. And actually, there's an example of those uh, roller blade bearings. These are upgrades that Ron printed nice. for us. These here, these. And it's on a slider for different sizes of. Uh, but because of course, there's no consistency with because why would you need to specify something that's going to be right yeah. used and in fact in some, some of the spools you can't fit with that you just have to take them off so that's why they're removable okay um, but, but even, it's just even this has got a piece of metal frame to work with to help make it more consistent yeah so those it just reduces the drag into the into the extruder assembly mm. I wonder if I could make a couple of plugs like this to go on my uh, PVC pipe uh, caddy and uh, yep. get some uh, some bearings like that and yep. make it roll smoother. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's already might have already done something like that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, half the time you just look up the brand of printer and people have already come up with. I, I didn't design these little guards somebody had they were like they're probably 10 different designs and i found the best one or the one that i like the most and uh print another but that's the cool thing with the 3d printers is that you know it can fix itself or you can enhance it and then yeah we had a lot of really good uh, luck with octoprint because this is this is where um it acts like a print server right it's like a, a print server for 3d printing so, uh, what do we have? We had two set up at the same time at Dan's house, mm -hmm. both running Octoprint. So anybody in the house could print to it if it wasn't being, or control it. It would queue it up if it was already running? You could set up a queue, yeah. 
You can also get on AstroPrint. <coughs> a plug-in, would you call that for this? Yeah, AstroPrint is a, a service and a plug-in for yeah, Octoprint. And you can watch it on your phone, wherever you're at, and control it. Pause it if it gets So you trouble. can check the status, things like that. Um, and one of the one of the things I have, it also Octoprint and AstroPrint, uh, both have they have a bunch of plugins. So when there's limitations to the software, people will write things that enhance it. One of them is uh, linking into like the TP-Link uh, remote control sockets, power outlets. Mm -hmm. So the software can turn on and off the printer, which I have my job set up. So if it's like the last job of the night, which I know is going to run like for four or five hours, I'll have it shut off the printer at the end of the job. Or I could be lying in bed. Astro Print is great because I could be lying in bed reading and then, say, okay, is it jammed? Is it jammed? Because it has the webcam. So I could see if it's still printing okay. sufficiently. The one plug in that I like that you put on is with the webcam, you can make the, uh, screen the image on the screen full screen. So as big as your screen is, you can okay. make it big as compared with you've, little. You've got enough pixels to do that. And yeah, and, and it's good for, because Dan, uh, Dan really locked on to it from the standpoint of training, yeah. uh, education, because you could, it, it's really neat, because the software, you hit one tab, you could see it drawing the G code, so you could, as it's moving the head of the printer, it's drawing it on the screen with all the estimated times, and you have a ton mm -hmm. of control. And anybody in the room, uh, it's web-based, so anybody in the room with their tablet or their cell phone, they all can see it. Right, they can check on the status simultaneously. Yeah. So, so they can see the screen. It, so it is a, a Wi-Fi accessible mm -hmm. yeah. image server, video server. Yeah, well, plus, plus it controls the printer. I mean, it's primarily designed as a print controller. Okay, so that's the... The Octopi yeah. is doing that. Part yeah, the, the Octopi is, so when you're sending a job to it, this is sitting on the network like any other network device, and you say, hey, print, well, you could do a couple things. In my case, I have my software. I say, hey, print, and it automatically copies the file up to here and starts the job. Um, and then it's completely independent from my PC. It, everything's running here. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could also use the web interface, which you use primarily where you can just drag and drop um, G code onto it and hit print or whatever and wait there's more mm -hmm. because it's powerful enough it can run Cura the slicer so you could take a raw STL file and just drop the design file on it it'll automatically slice it and queue it up to print so it really octopies the way we have several printers now well, we've got three of them running right now, and they're all running on Octopi. And you have a separate Be Octopi module for each, for each one. one. That's the only okay. The only downside is that it's dedicated. And the to camera the you're using with that is that's a that's your favorite camera. Was that the fam camera you were in love with? No. No, that was another camera. <laughs> this, is, this is the less favored camera. Found another. Um. Uh, well. I forgot what it was called. But here, I'm just going to read off whatever it has. Okay. It has an HD of 1080p. And um, uh, basically, you could turn it around. This is how you also keep it, the camera safe. Mm-hmm. It you're folds up. Around. Okay. So it, it, it'll use any, really, any sort of webcam. I think I brought in mine last time with the little bullet camera like a, a five dollar piece of junk camera yeah. okay. or you like like I've got a five dollar piece of junk camera that I have bolted to the side my other printer I've got like a 10 year old Logitech that I drilled a hole into and I have it up above the gantry pointing down so you okay. can use almost <coughs> any, anyone yeah, I'm very interested in being able to put uh, video cameras on robots and have them be able to drive around and send back video mm -hmm. of where they're going. Mm -hmm. So you could be in this room watching the camera and driving it in the children's room. Right. 
Yeah, similar to what Dan has done with yeah. his. We've got four robots. With his like robots, that. with his. So this this and would be another way. Our and, drones are. And I, and I want to be able to record that video stream for uh, doing voiceovers and playback. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. So what what is that called again? The Octopi? That's the software. Well, yeah, it's, it's a it's a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi yeah. <coughs> number two. Right. But, but it's running two. Octopi. Right. Well, How much is really that? Really called Octoprint. Octoprint. And then as a as a right nickname, the, the people the version they it to Octoprint. Yeah, the, Oct Octoprint is the software. Octopi is kind of the canned build that you could download the okay. image, the disk. So yeah. you you could either take a regular Pi and install Octoprint on it, or you could just pull down a disk image. Okay, that was my question. Can is that a software you can just download uh -huh. onto another? distro yes. that runs on there. Yeah. So you can well, check out the Raspberry Pi from the library an and install Octopi on it. Well, okay. it's also, yeah. yeah, it's a software package or an image. Either yeah, one. You, you could run either one. Like, oh, you can? Can? Yes, because Cause cause she I, didn't have to go through all that image stuff? Well, she He's, needs to know how to do it. Well, yeah. I agree. Uh, <laughs> she learned it well. But well, because, because then, like, like with this, it's really dedicated to the printer. So it makes sense just to use the image. Why well, do that's my question. Stuff? So, like, how much resources? Like, I have a couple of Raspberry Pis, mm -hmm. and so I'm running Raspbian, I think, on all of them, and I have other things running on there. How much would the Octoprint really actually take on resources? On the uh, the slicer, it takes a lot, okay. but the slicer only runs for well, depending on what you're slicing. Most of the these sort of models took about three to five seconds to slice. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I don't really use it for a whole bunch, and um, I don't even have a printer yet, but... During the print, it does take some resources. I have noticed when my... Because I'm running on Pi 2s because I had them on hand. Sure. Um, and there are times when it starts bogging down, and what happens is the printer starts kind of pausing, then it starts up again. Okay. Usually it's not a problem. Uh, <coughs> I don't think that I would, when it's printing, I really would not do anything serious anything on it. Oh, and yeah. they try to save a lot of resources on this image, too. There's there's no GUI or anything. It's yeah, just it's straight command line. Yeah. yeah, it's all terminal. Uh, but you could do everything. But it also runs a web server, which you can monitor mm -hmm. graphically. Yeah, it runs so. a web server, and there's a plug-in, which I haven't played with yet, but there's a plug-in that will automatically uh, live stream out to YouTube. So whenever really? you, yeah, so whenever you I start need, printing, I yeah, I knew you were going to say that. The, That's why. This, this does, one other thing it built into, uh, yeah, Octoprint, is it will do a video. Uh, the time-lapse. So, so yeah, the time-lapse uh, video. The time-lapse yeah. video, so yeah. when you're through, you have a video of what you built. It's like, it's just, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. it, it takes a picture about every 10 seconds. And then you can mm -hmm. do that. You're saying now with the plugin, just send it right up to YouTube. Mm -hmm. I have not tested it yet. Yeah. But well, yeah, I, I knew the second I saw that, that, I knew. <laughs> That's yeah. why I hesitated to bring it up. <laughs> I'm going to try that now. Yeah, we always, we always come up with new projects. So. But yeah, so it, it would automatically start the live stream when you start a job and then uh, turn it off when you're done. Okay. Or you could do it as as needed. As Are you done? How much printing? So you've done Yeah. You've so done the, the Cala cat. This is a calibration cat. She's done all this at home by herself. Right. So that this is designed, I think, to be a centimeter by, I think it's, 10 mil by 20 by something to test out. Is that a print. file you gave her? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the, these two are the files in the, the Pusheen. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. I made like 10 of those. Yeah, these are good to, as test prints because they mm -hmm. don't take very long. Do they? yeah. They're pretty quick. 13 to 20 minutes. Yeah. <coughs> okay, Travis.